Now to new developments in a story we first told you about this morning, a deadly crash involving three vehicles in Pearland, and now there's new surveillance video linked to the crash. It happened overnight in the area of FM 521 and FM 2234. Channel 2's Lee Felici is live near that area with what happened. Lee. Yes, Keith, we do have some security cam video of moments right before that accident. And also, DPS has just released the name of the man who lost his life in that terrible accident. It is Colin Davis. He is 26 years old. We're told that he is a security guard. They believe he was just coming home from work when that terrible accident happened. Strewn across an embankment, the shattered pieces of an accident that DPS troopers say left a 26-year-old man dead. Troopers raced to the intersection of FM 521 and FM 2234 at around 1 a.m. and found this, a twisted wreck of two cars that became lodged together and flipped. Investigators say the two cars were hit by a driver that crashed into them from behind, going well over the speed limit. Uh, we're estimating probably over 100 miles an hour right now. Part of the accident caught on an Exxon gas station security cameras. Look in the upper right hand corner of your screen. DPS troopers say the two cars were stopped at a light when the third driver sped through and hit them. Emergency vehicles were quickly on the scene. Workers at the gas station pulled up to flashing lights around their parking lot. It's unfortunately an all too familiar scene for them. It's not the first time. If you look for the record for the DPS for a whole year, you can find on a five, six, five, six accident every every month over here. And they all is bad. Tragic situation earlier this morning when Davis's car was pulled away. A child's car seat was visible. He may have also been a parent. As for that driver, we are told he is a 43 year old man from Pearland. He is in the hospital with serious but not life threatening injuries and that there are no charges at this moment because investigators are still looking into exactly what happened. We are live in Pearland. Lee for Lisi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.